What's up, everybody? It's Swift. Um, I'm going to teach you how to optimize your PC for gaming. I've watched 20, 30, 40 different videos on how to optimize your PC, and I've taken all of those and put them together. A lot of them, they're the same. Some things work, some things don't. Just depends. I'm live every day on kick.com forward slash OG dash Swift T supposed to be an underscore or OG underscore Swift at kick. Um, if you enjoy, leave a like, don't forget to subscribe and I appreciate all of you. Thank you. This is how to optimize your PC for gaming. Go to start, settings, update your computer first off. Home, privacy, background apps, turn this off. Go to system, power, additional power can run balanced or ultimate performance. You'll have to see what works better for you. Notifications, turn those off. Gaming, make sure game mode is on. Graphic settings, turn this on or off depending on your PC. You'll have to restart if you switch it. Just try it one way or another. Have to see. Then press Windows, type in mouse. If you use a mouse and keyboard, additional mouse options, pointer options, turn enhanced pointer precision off. I'll have a link to a Google Drive all this stuff in it. Run cache cleaner as administrator, clean temp files as administrator, optimize windows as administrator, telemetry as administrator. Nvidia script also run this as administrator. Then you're gonna go to Nvidia profile inspector. Extract it, open it, go to the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. You're going to do be on Base Profile, going to Import Profile, Base Profile, open. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it. Click Apply Changes. Then up here, Type in Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 22, Import Profile, God Modern Warfare 22, Apply Changes. It's the easiest way to update your NVIDIA profile settings. Run the application. You're going to set your wanted timer resolution to 0.5. Enable custom timer resolution, ISE polling rate 500. You're going to set your free memory lower than half of whatever your total system memory is. So mine would be 16,000. Just check both of these, press start. And also purge the standby list if it's already too high. Minimize and it'll go to your system tray right here. And what you're going to do is go to TCP optimizer, right click, run this as administrator. You're going to want to click custom. And you're going to want to copy these two pictures. 
exactly as they say. Click apply <clears throat> and don't restart your computer yet. I'm gonna do that at the end. If you already have a fan control app, you don't have to do this. If you do have don't have a fan control app, you can run fan control. Extract it, run the program, it'll look like this. It's gonna automatically detect your start and stop speed of your fans, and it's gonna make them work at a curve or at a certain RPM. I set mine to a curve. Let's see here, I set my CPU, choose where you wanna get your temperature from, and then you set a curve. Copy mine if you want to. I'm gonna click, turn this on, click curve, CPU, that's it. Exit out of this, save, and it'll be in your taskbar. All right, so you're gonna go here, go to Documents, Call of Duty, Players, Options.3.COD 22. Open this in Notepad. You're going to go somewhere on your computer. You can do downloads, you can do Anywhere, I'll do it here. New folder. Call it old God 22. I'm going to open this new text document. Old God 22. And select here Control A. Copy, paste, save, exit. Then you want to go to, I just wanted to say there will be an options.cod22 file in the Google Drive. That's what you want to open up and copy all of that and paste it in place of yours and then save. It's going to reset all your Call of Duty settings and put them to what will work on a pretty decent new GPU. If you have an older one, I'm going to link a another video of all my settings at the end um that'll work on older GPUs and give you better frames. Just want to let y'all know that. This will be a new one. You want to control A, control C, copy all this back to your old one, delete, paste, save, and exit. I already have it, so I'm not gonna do it. This is another tip for anyone who can differentiate between game audio and Windows audio. If you have a GoXLR, a Beacon Mix Create, or another software where you can differentiate your game audio, this works pretty well for footsteps. Um, if you can't, it still works, but it kind of makes your game sound like crap. So what you're going to want to do is go to right click your sounds, go to sounds, find where your game audio is coming through. Mine will be under game, right click, go to properties, enhancements, loudness equalization, cut that on, go to settings, and turn it all the way to short. It makes footsteps way louder in the game. I don't know why, but it works pretty well. The pros use it, so I use it. And I noticed a big difference. All right, you're gonna wanna go to your settings. For some reason, they put this under keyboard and mouse now. You have a GPU bound case, turn, NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency on. If you have a CPU bound case, turn on plus boost. These are the settings you want to copy. You can pause anytime, copy these settings. Custom frame rate should be set to whatever you want to set it to, three below your monitor's refresh rate. Mine's 240, so I set it 
237, 120 in the menu, you can do 60, 30 out of menu. Helps your game not run when you're tabbed out. Quality, resolution should be 100. FX cast for the best visibility if you're playing competitively. If you want the best frames, the LSS should be set to ultra performance or balanced if you want it to look better. Sharpness is personal preference. You will lose frames if you use cast. These will be blanked out if you use the LSS. Filmic SMAA T2X, low, 80. Normal, normal, low, low. This will be gone since you did the COD 22 options. Low, very low, on. I don't know why that was off. Off, low, near, off. Low, low, off, wave wetness. Very low, off, low, 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 off, low. Off, low, off. All this shit off. Apply. Field of view is personal preference. I use 120. Affected. Wide makes your gun look smaller so you get better visibility. These don't matter because I don't play third person. Set these two to least so you have less camera shake. Game perspective, if you prefer the helmet cam, you can do that. For audio, I use PC, master volume at 50, gameplay music, zero, dialogue, 40, effects is what you hear, gunshots and stuff like that. Leave that up. Voice chat, personal preference, cinematic music, all the way down. War tracks, doesn't really matter. You can copy all these settings. Microphone stuff will be your own personal. And that'll be it. You can also change around these settings if you go to multiplayer. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Let's go to benchmark. You can benchmark your game. I don't know if anyone has told any of you that. Because I don't really see it a whole lot. But you can benchmark your game and adjust these settings and see what gets you better FPS. You'll have to run it. Just change one thing and run it. If you have any questions or anything, leave them in the comments. I'll try to get back to everybody and help you out. These are the frames that I run with OBS recording, so take off about 20 frames. This is the FPS I get. It's not terrible. I play pretty competitively and this is also how you can tell if you're GPU bound or CPU bound. My bottleneck is 21% on my CPU, so I'm GPU bound. I have a 3070 Ti and a Ryzen 7 5800X. It's not terrible for this machine. I've tried to optimize everything as much as I can. All right, y'all have any questions, let me know. I appreciate you. Have a good day.